the New Hampshire primary is interesting because Biden isn't actually on the ballot. He pushed to have South Carolina be the first primary in the nation. However, because of New Hampshire state law, they are required to be the first in the nation, therefore moving their date up. Dean Phillips is now running to be New Hampshire's president. I have seen the practice of democracy in the Granite State. That isn't just the best practice in this country, but perhaps all around the world. And I want to thank you for showing this country how it works and why you are the first in the nation primary. Because the sad truth is I respect the man, but Joe Biden is not able to beat Donald Trump in the next election. Every poll is showing it. His weakness is showing in his approval numbers. And we all know intuitively what is forthcoming. Andrew Yang, who was really popular among millennial and voters back in 2020, has put his full endorsement behind Dean Phillips. And there are people who are now questioning New Hampshire's place in that role in our democracy. I personally think it's absurd that New Hampshire Democrats are being punished for holding a primary you all are required to hold by state law. You know what I mean? And that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now, even if you wanted to try and make a change, you couldn't because you don't control the state house. Joe Biden recently gave a speech on the importance of democracy. Unfortunately, democracy is not necessarily alive and well with the DNC either. You can see it here in New Hampshire. According to Real Clear Politics polling, Phillips is coming in at 16%, with Biden a whopping 61% at the write-in ballot. In Manchester, New Hampshire, I'm Amy Delora for Washington Examiner.